to Simple Planes for part two of my simple aircraft tutorial as we slowly work our way up to more complicated aircraft and today's topic is jets. In the last episode we made a propeller driven aircraft and it was decent and all but we need to go faster. To do that we gotta upgrade to jet engines. Now there are five main pieces of jet engines but I don't bother to memorize the names just know as as they descend in the list they use more and more fuel and provide more and more thrust. Big exception to the Blasto VTOL, that's just the special engine. Regardless, we're going to begin as our previous aircraft began. We're going to go ahead and uh, extend our fuselage outward. You can do this as long as you'd like for how big of an aircraft you'd like, but I'm just going to go about this far. Then we're going to go ahead and add a nose cone on the front of the aircraft, which can be found under structural. The name of the game for jets is to reduce drag as much as possible because unlike propellers, they're not limited to speed, just the drag of the aircraft. And drag increases the faster you go, so reducing that means you can go a bit faster than you were before, and it's a win-win scenario. Now I'm going to add a curved block just behind the cockpit, all up to your preference. You can even add an engine behind there if you'd like, we're just going to go for a single engine. Speaking of engines, we might as well add one now. I'm going to go ahead into propulsion and pick out a jet engine. I'm going to go for the J-15, which is the weakest one. And we also need to add air intakes because jet engines need air to function. So let's go ahead and add an inlet. But we should add a fuel tank before we do. Under propulsion, we're going to add a few of these because jet engines use considerably more fuel. Add the inlet and mirror those across, which is again control M. I'm going to extend an angled block behind here just to have it shape back into the fuselage. Mirror that across and open up our center of mass, lift and thrust overlay, which should be spacebar or you can go to menu and open that up. And we need to add wings and again reducing drag, which means as aerodynamic wings as possible, swept wings, delta wings, those all work. So we're going to add a horizontal stabilizer in the back. And we're going to sweep it back just a little bit. Something like that. And you make it just a tad bit thicker. Mirror that. Now, wings. Heed what I mentioned in the previous episode about keeping your center of lift just behind your center of mass. But for jets, note that you want to have it a bit further back. Otherwise, they can become extremely unstable. Go ahead and sweep it back even more. Probably reduce the wingspan since we don't need to be that large. And again, we're trying to reduce drag. Now it got rid of my control surface, so I'm gonna add one back. Make it a bit smaller. The larger your ailerons are, the lower the airspeed you want them to perform at. If they're super large at a higher airspeed, they will be hypersensitive. So just bear that in mind. Let's go ahead and mirror that across. And now we need a tail section. We're just going to go for a single tail here. No need to be complicated. We'll add one on top of the engine. Make it a tad bit taller, but also sweep it back and extend it a bit forward. And then we need landing gears. So let's go ahead and add these in. We'll go for the large retractables. Actually, for, we're going to go with the rear landing gear for now because I stretch a bit further back. Place your gear just behind the center of mass so that you're able to pivot on takeoff. And a large landing gear in front. Now with all this speed, we need a way to slow down. And to do this, we can go under the gizmos tab and grab an air brake, which are also extremely powerful. We're just going to add two. Uh, we'll go about here. Doesn't necessarily matter where you place them, just keep in mind that the drag they produce can end up moving your aircraft. But here should be fine, shouldn't influence anything. And we have our air intakes, we have our nose cone, we have our jet engine, we have our air brakes. Everything looks bounced, so let's take it out for a test flight. Once again, I strongly suggest the use of a joystick. Now we do have about 80 gallons of fuel, so we have a bit of fuel life.
However, the aircraft seems a little bit slow. On a few tests, I managed to reach upwards of 500 kilometers an hour very easily on this single engine, but it looks like we're having troubles getting past that, which means we have too much drag on the aircraft, so let's try shrinking the wingspan just a little bit. Say like about there. Make the tail a bit smaller. Try again. Now the smaller the wingspan, the less lift you have, which means you'll need to be at a higher airspeed. But with jets, you're already going to be at a higher airspeed. A bit faster acceleration this time. But still having the same issue braking with 500. Still too much drag. Perhaps we can fix this by getting rid of the extension over here with the air intakes and instead moving it somewhere else. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get rid of the landing gears for now and move the wings off and go ahead and deleting this. We need to add the fuel tanks elsewhere, so I'm going to go ahead and detach the tail and add two of the fuel tanks in the middle here. Reattach. So now we're a bit thinner. We're going to go and re-add the wings. Let's make it a bit longer. There. Hear this. And instead of having a nose cone on the front like so, let's delete this and add the air intake right there. So now we should have much less drag than before, although it does look a bit weird. I think the wings are fine where they are, but we still need to re-add the landing gear. Let's go ahead and add the wing ones here. It's going to look funny, but again, the aim of the... The aim of the game is just to get the fly in the first place. We can look, worry about looks later. Gear on the front as well. Now these, the problem with the wing gears is when they retract, they still produce a bit of drag. We can probably fix that later, but for now, this is what we have to deal with. So now we are a much smaller aircraft than we were before, which means we should be able to get quite a bit faster. Yeah, look at that acceleration. Now note, we do have half the fuel load, but the drag is so significantly reduced that we're able to achieve a much higher top speed than before, pushing past 650 right now. And the air brakes, in case we need to slow down, are extremely powerful. The thing is, this thing doesn't really like turning that much. So we should probably increase the aileron surface of the horizontal stabilizers in back so we can get a bit better turning radius. Now note, this means they will become sensitive at high speeds. But I'd rather be able to turn at medium speeds than not be able to turn at high speeds with some degree of control. Let's go ahead and change that real fast. Actually, I think we could probably make the horizontal stabilizers a little bit larger. Something like that, and then add them like such. Actually, I think we're going to leave them at the size that they're at. One thing I wanted to mention, which is demonstrated here, is that creating good aircraft takes time. While it is easy to follow the basic rules, fine-tuning an aircraft's looks and flight characteristics takes a lot of time, and it doesn't always work out. However, the more time you spend on creating an aircraft, the more rewarding it is when, at the end of production, it finally takes to the skies. Let's leave it at this, because we just made it larger. And we're going to go ahead and move the wings just a tad bit forward. Oh, wait, no, I don't think we can because of the landing gear. We'll leave the wings where they are, but move them a bit less, make them a bit less swept. That does increase drag, but it also can increase turn time, or decrease turn time, whichever way you turn to look at it. It'll increase turn rate, decrease turn time. Still getting the same speed that we are, or that we were before. Turning wise, it's not much better. But it's good enough. Let's go ahead and 
line up for a landing. And do take note of how fast the fuel is draining. The stronger engines will use significantly more fuel. Because generally the stronger the engine is, the less efficient it is. At least at full throttle. Which is why as designer, it is your priority to get rid of drag so that you're not wasting any energy. Go ahead and deploy the gear, air brakes to slow down. And we're not really lined up in the best way, but it works. There. And air brakes help us slow down extremely fast on the ground. If you want to take off again, shouldn't have any issues. There we go. Through the bridge. There we are. 